Hey folks, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create an EC2 instance. Uh, so go ahead and log into your console and on the very top menu in the services, click the drop down and go to the compute section and click on EC2. Now EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud, hence EC2. So in the very middle of the screen you'll see this blue button, launch instance, go ahead and click that. For this example, we'll select the Amazon Linux AMI. AMI is Amazon Machine Image. If you wanted to select a different operating system, this is where you would do it. So in this example, we'll go ahead and select Amazon Linux AMI. In the instance type, we're going to select the default of general purpose, T2 Micro, which is also free tier eligible if you've had your account for less than a year. It comes with one virtual CPU, one gigabyte of memory, and an EBS volume with a network performance of low to moderate. So keep that in mind if you're creating a web server with high traffic, you'd probably want to select one of the uh, other um, bigger types of instances. Go ahead and click Next. So in the details, we only want to create one. This is, if you wanted to create more than one, this, you would change this number. Uh, for the network, we'll select the default uh, VPC that we created in a, pretty, in a previous video, along with the same uh, subnet, which is located in US East 1A Availability Zone. You could also create a new one here and put that in a different availability zone if you wanted to, but we'll select the default. Under the Auto Assign Public IP, it's currently set to Disable, so we'll go ahead and enable that. As for the IAM role, normally you would want to assign a role to this if this machine, this EC2 instance, was uh, specifically for you know, a specific function or you had a purpose for this server. But in this example, we'll just select none. Uh, for shutdown behavior, we'll just accept the default of stop. You have two options, stop or terminate. Enable termination protection is pretty self-explanatory. Check that box if you don't want this um, easy to insist to be accidentally deleted. For monitoring, we'll leave that unchecked as well. I'll cover CloudWatch in uh, another video. And for tendency, um, you can select shared or dedicated. Uh, keep in mind if you select dedicated, there's an additional cost associated with that. Go ahead and click next. <coughs> for the storage, uh, this is your root volume and it tells you the device uh, path, which is slash dev slash xvda, and the volume type is gp2 in general purpose. If you needed uh, more I.O., you would select provisioned IOPS SSD, and that also comes with uh, a price tag too, so and there's an associated cost with that. So we'll go ahead and leave it at gp2. Click next. As for tags, it's always a good practice to add a tag to your machines. That way it's easy for you to search, especially if you're going to start having you know, dozens and dozens of uh, uh, EC2 instances. You want an easy way to find it, either by name or function. So you could add as many tags as you need to. So for this example, um, I'm just going to give it an EC2 dash name of you know, server 1. Go ahead and click uh, next for security group. So, we'll go ahead and create a new security group. Um, leave everything here the same, um, whatever the default is. And we'll cover this in another video. We'll go ahead and launch. Just review this uh, configuration real quick. Everything is set to the way we configured it. And go ahead and click launch. For key pair, um, we'll go ahead and create a new key pair. I'll name this company Key Pair 2017. And download that. Save it. And go ahead and launch. Okay, it's launching. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. It's launching, okay. So I'll come back once this is done. Okay, and we're back, and the 
EC2 instance has been created. It's currently being initialized right now, but it's running. And it has an IPv4 public IP address. So everything that we configured is pretty much configured here. Go ahead and review the description, status check. Like it says, it's still, it's all initializing. So once it's done initializing, it'll give you a status check. And we'll cover all these other tabs in another video. So that's it, folks. Uh, that's how you launch an EC2 instance.